Terum. We're going to be playing Valheim again. So let's uh, jump in. Again, this is one of those recordings where I. Uh, I'm recording a bit from the studio, the last bit of the uh, live recording in game. This one is beautiful, huh? I know that I, uh, that I want to have a house. Uh, by the water, because I know that I eventually will want to, uh, to row and, uh, how can I get out of this door? Jeez. Ah, oh, man. It's clumsy. It's clumsy, it's clumsy. Yeah, well, anyway, I know that I will want to uh, go with a boat. I saw that I can make a, crowd, uh, uh, a raft. I saw that's one of the options. So I definitely want a boathouse from where I will uh, continue my journeys, really. As always, I'm going to need to pick up uh, materials along the way. These guys are not too hard to get. And I can get them with, like, I, my favorite weapon is the club. Yeah, the club and the knife. I like to switch between those two. I see a lot of people online just using the, the axe for both fighting and utility. But looky here. Now I finally got a, a shield for the first time. So I got it in the order I want here, with the club being first, the knife, the shield at three. I found out that to, uh, I learned this from Game Edged, I think, um, that the way this works, this plow or whatever you want to call it, um, ground leveler is it will raise or lower the ground to the same height that you're standing at. So that's how this works. And if you don't know that, before you learn that, that is very confusing. It's not, it's not obvious that that's how it works. Oh look, there's a little dirt there by the stairs, so. Going a little lower, just to... Yeah, see? Now you can see more of the stairs. I just don't want it to be too, like... I want it... Because I, I, can, I, I can imagine that I eventually will farm here, maybe, or... Have some livestock. Ah, oh, jeez, it's so clumsy. It's 
I need to fix the entrances and stuff like that. It's probably not the best place to have an entrance. Maybe. I really need to redo this house. It's a beautiful place though, huh? So yeah, everything, and another thing I learned, now there's, apparently there's a lot to learn about this game. And I can only assume that it's more complex than, let's say, um, Minecraft. But yeah, when you highlight things and they show up as green, that means that they're stable, that they're like, they have a good foundation of them. And they're in good condition. If so, anything is like when it starts to get yellowy, orange, red, um, the hotter the color, the worse the condition is or the stability. We'll see a little bit more of that later. Now, I always like to go back and repair my equipment just to make sure everything's up to, up to par. There's a lot of work to be done here. I'm trying to think, how can I stretch the house out? You know, it's not the best, most level ground, unfortunately. It's hard to find a better ground. I certainly want to be able to uh, make this house larger. And just the way that I'm picturing it in my mind, it's going to become pretty big. Uh, this whole area. Because it's going to accommodate like several things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I uh, built a, a raised... Um, raised floor. And this is something else. This is also something I try to learn as much as possible on my own. Um, and figure things out on my own. But this is another thing that I picked up from. You see it's green, that means it's still stable. But it will only, eventually, if I put another row now, it's going to become yellow or something. So it needs uh, support under it. But yeah, this is the real way that you build foundation, or this is the real way that they, especially in Scandinavia, uh, build foundations. I mean, they really did raise them and, uh, and had the houses standing on stilts, basically, kind of like sh very short stilts, like, but just to keep it level. And it would often be like on, on a rocky surface. I've, or at least from what I've seen, I've seen many houses that were built like this, like on rocky surface. And it always amazed me how stable they managed to make it on like, with wobbly rocks under it, you know, like round rocks, just a pile of round rocks and then you put these staves on top of them and then you have the floor on top of that and luckily if you do it right it's stable which is just kind of amazing to me but uh so yeah i saw game edge uh build his house like this by his principle and it occurred to me that this is probably the best way to go about it uh especially if you want to avoid, like, you know, you want to keep things flat and avoid having to deal with uh, an uneven ground. But in reality, I don't know if those physics can play a role in this game, but in reality, you'll be colder. The house will be colder if you're directly on the ground. So this raising of the ground a little bit, 
gives the house here. It gives the house more heat. Now I'm trying to get as many staves under here, under each uh, uh, joint, as many as possible, but it's hard. Just checking out the beauty. Look at this. Those mystical things in the, in the sky. I don't know what they are. It looks like, I don't know, the tree of life or something. Like it, it, it's just like every once in a while when you look into the sky, you see this big, like, uh, branch that just sort of fades out into the horizon, sort of. So you only see a bit of it. But since this is Scandinavia and Viking theme, I can only imagine it's in Brazil, um, the, the tree of life. Supposed to represent. So I'm trying to figure out where supports are missing. I'm sure I missed some spots, but everything seems stable. So I'm ready for the next step here, which is because I I know that I want to have windows, so to speak. Kind of have to creatively figure out a way to make windows in this game. Uh. In other words, by just having shorter walls. And in order to uh, achieve that, um, yeah, I'm just having shorter walls. But now it's getting, uh, it's getting darker at the end of every workday. When it starts to get darker, the sun goes down, I bomb back home to my original which, if you see on the map, it's just a little ways uphill. And I also like to clear the path. I mean, this is too... I don't want to live in the mi middle of the woods. Okay, this is... I just hope this is not going to fall on the house. So you can definitely get them with the axe. Like, that's no problem at all. Especially when you're in the middle of building. We're chopping, you might as well, you know. But look at this, now... Now I got a serious problem here. Because that's too hard. I assume that eventually you'll be able, you'll, like, when you upgrade your axe, you'll have a stronger axe that can chop through that wood. But, <laughs> I kind of messed up now. Okay, now starts the Ike the uh, uh, anger. The creatures of the forest. Uh, RP and Hussing or whatever. It's that time of the month. Like to do is because everything you do, every action, you gain XP for that action. Every club hit in increases your club fighting, every block increases your block strength. So, I'm trying to get good at like uh, blocking them and then hitting them. Yeah. Seems to be the best way to get them to wait till they hit, block it, and then counterattack. Yeah. That's it, and then I got this little up. Great.
yeah, it's getting late now. Look how beautiful it is, though. The sun starts. I love this field. I love running through this field every afternoon. away the path and I don't have to do do everything all in one go you know I can just sort of I want to make a path also I haven't tried this before I kind of want to make a path towards my house Getting a little darker than I hoped to, but I can't help but want, want to remove these all these trees and things in the way. And like anything that's like even uh, stumps. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh my God! Look how many trees that's tearing down. That's a brilliant way to tear down many trees. Well, I'm finally home anyway. As usual, ending the day with uh, cooking the meat, eating, going to the crafting table, that's important too. And just sort of uh, maintain my equipment. See what upgrades they have. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do upgrades yet. Still, I mean, it's a lot to learn. So yeah, you need a chopping block to be able to upgrade. I think that's the way it was. Now it's brilliant to have these, like, uh, they, you put these, like, uh, piles of uh, lumber around for when you need wood. See, now I can build this, and as you can see, the light sparkles connect to the workbench. I want the axe pointing out. See, now I have new things I can craft. A helmet. New art, like uh, arrows. So, yeah, I'm just learning as I go along here. Uh, I need leather, but I have leather in the chest, I think. But yeah, I want to upgrade my clothes for sure. I'm not sure if that was... Is that the better version? I have two now, right? Yeah, I accidentally just built something I already have there. It just seems like... Okay, just bear with me here. I'm trying to figure this out as I go. So yeah, it's basically the same clothes. <laughs> so much for that. I'm really sure what to... Was the did it wear out or something? No. Oh well, I'll get more leather. 
See how things go next day. Day 17. I feel like the days go up. Go along a lot faster than what I'm prepared for. This is roll this away from the home. Because if this rolls on you or something you will, it hurts it. Could be good to upgrade the axe also for fighting, you know? Have but I want to be, all in all, I just want to be mindful of what I'm upgrading. But it's a cozy shack here that I started with. Um, for sure. You see how I have the fire inside? Apparently, most I don't. I, I that's the that's the result of just freak luck. Okay, now I got a flint axe. I just wanna organize my items. I don't know what these heads are for. These trophies. Maybe I should have like one here and one in the chest. I'm not sure. Maybe I'd like to hang one. Maybe you can hang them up on your wall. I mean, it looks like something. Anyway, well, yeah, we just skipped over most of this day. Okay, now we're back here. This is the main area of focus, anyway. Yeah, it's because you're gonna need to have the work table, uh, workbench. At the same time, I'm gonna need to tear it down. So, in other words, I'm gonna need to build another one. So. And it needs to be protected, right? It needs to be under a shelter, under a, under a roof or something. So yeah, let's just uh, continue uh, building the basics of the home, of the house. I mean, it's looking nice. I like the floor and everything now. Yeah, I can run smoothly in and out. is where you aim the crosshair. That's where it connects to. Which, uh, it's not, it's not immediately, uh, 
happy is when you, you begin playing this game. No, don't get closer to the house. Ah. <laughs> that piece of lumber is really annoying. I'm kind of building, I don't really have an idea as such, I'm just sort of building as I go along. This looks like an area that could be sort of like a, like a chimney area. You see how it's kind of outside the house? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just not sure yet. I thought maybe I built a new axe and that would help me. But yeah, so we need a new workbench now. Let's find a good place for it. I might like the view, see the ocean when I'm crafting. And like a window in front of me. I'm just in the editing room here, but uh, I can't wait to continue playing this. I have so many ideas. system is very unique. I'm, I feel like I think I know what it's supposed to, like how it actually works, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I think basically the mechanics is made so that you need, um, like basically you need, you know, you need your carbs, you need your so you need a little bit of berries, a little bit of meat. You need to have a little bit of various things. And where I don't, where I would like trees to grow up again, I do not mind leaving stumps. But if it's too close to the trail. I like to practice uh, hunting as well. Because those deers, they're not easy to catch. They that much. I'm actually very happy with how I edited it. Just, you know, the music flows. And it's a 
chill at it. random materials, I don't know what to do with the S, but which I figure there is a purpose for later. this. I need to... I'd like to upgrade the club, but I'll need skeletons. And I'll need to make sure to keep collecting flint, apparently, so I know. Sounds like a reference to the tree of life. Let's get back to the beach. So where the arrow shows sort of northeastish on the map, the arrow is pointing towards north. From what I understand, that's another thing I've heard somewhere. I've just picked up a few things here and there. So I've done a bit of building that I didn't record for some reason. But it's, this is mostly, you know, the roof is finished. I mean, the beginning of the roof is finished. But now I want to be able to sleep here as well. You need to press the, the middle, the scroll button, to do that kind of attack, to hit downwards. You click the, the mouse scroll. Now since the bed, so I have some, uh, I don't know, what do you call this, um, you know, a structure you build to help you build high up, what do you call it, uh, whatever you call it, uh, that, that's uh, what I've built here, this is not for keeps. And I'm thinking, if I can just pick my bed, that if it was closer to the roof, it would be considered shelter. But I guess I'll build the bed under under this thing here that I'm forgetting what it's called. Um, here, okay. Okay, so it's just enemies nearby. Okay, that's the smallest problem. That's not a big issue. I also want to put a fence around the house, and I have this nice little, I love this little exit to sort of uh, pier, or the docks, if you will. Uh, 
Uh, just kind of stuck in there. Okay, now, now the house is really coming along. And I'm just, you know, figuring it out as I go. And I'm seeing now that you can sort of put materials on top of each other. It seems to strengthen it. You see that part was green. That part's yellow. So I need to, I need to strengthen it. The structure there. I mean, it looks better. It fits with the other side. And so I, I kind of think I want a loft. So there's two floors in this house? Because I can imagine I'll need a lot of uh, chests and uh, space. So, uh, yeah. Gonna need more supplies. Oh, this is so beautiful. Maybe this is the moment. I'm gonna collect flint now. This is the moment I shared on, uh, on X or Twitter, if you will. This is a beautiful morning. I don't know what this area is about. Yeah, when you go in the middle of that circle with those little structures around it, uh, you get poisoned, which I don't really know what that's supposed to be. Is it something I can use to my advantage? Is it... But this terrain definitely showcases kind of sort of the struggles of survival in uh, Scandinavia, and, and especially like Norway, um, or you know, the terrain really is, you know, when the Vikings came to England and saw this like rolling hills and flat land, they were just amazed, like, oh my god, we need to have this, <laughs> you know, and to claim this, because um, it's, we have such a uneven terrain. I'm gonna practice my archery. Ah, oh, he got me, but I got him too. Okay. I need to practice more with on my archery. Now I'm really glad that I finally have uh, I assume eventually... Oh, look at these guys. How oh, can I shoot them before they swim away? Come on. Six. Ah, oh, they... They already got away. Ah, oh, man. That was too slow. I was like, where's my bow? <laughs> where's this place? Okay, so that's how you get bone fragments. All right. Okay, now I know. Now I know. I like this little area here where there's like a little strip of land between two bodies of water. It looks like it looks like a wonderful fishing spot. I hope you can fish. I assume you can. Like in Minecraft.
Where is this place? So it occurs to me that you can actually... I would think, repair these places. Can you find old homes like this? It's kind of like a smaller version of my, of my initial shack. Further up. What do we have here? Money! And feathers. Nice. Okay. Two beds. Alright. Okay. I might repair this some other some time. Like, maybe it would be nice to have, like, a. Another shack nearby, you know? I don't know. So much to explore and discover in this game. works in the distance. <laughs> as soon as I switched to my weapon, he ran away. Here he comes. Boom. Bam. Bang. There you go. Just like that. You got a trophy. I have bones now, but not enough, huh? Not enough bones. I should be able to craft a, a helmet. Chopping block over here. stones out here. So, so not everything takes up my inventory space. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. <clears throat> I'd like to leave the I just want a secondary floor to keep uh, chests in, really, mostly. And seeing the triangular shape of the roof is not... I want to see it like more square above me. Like, it looks more like a normal. And now they're orange and red, as you see, so they need supports. Now let's see if it turns green after I put the supports on there. 
the ceiling turns green. It's it's hard to line things up. A lot hard. hard. Okay, so it's yellow. I think. Let's go some more. We'll see. Still yellow. I'm trying to figure out. How do you increase the structural integrity, basically? I mean, there must be a way, right? It's not like this is too tall of a house. I know I built it slightly tall, but it's not like... But I... We'll see. We'll just go through this one step at a time. But now that we sort of have a roof over us, we don't need this over the bed anymore. the window that you can kind of see what's going on out there so you can see the enemy now it's sort of did that hide him too much I'm not sure how open I want this this I guess you can see them I feel more sheltered like this at least I suppose I can see them if I raise the camera again. You know. Okay, so we have to find a way to turn the roof from yellow to green. Add support somehow. I guess these structures on the sides should add to the stability, especially if you have uh, these under the, the poles. It should, right? Theory. Then you can build, that's what I noticed, you can sort of intermingle, intertwine materials in this, uh, in this game. So you can like kind of put wood inside wood and it will be visible. It'll look more fleshed out. Uh, so that's very interesting. It took me a while before I noticed this. So the building mechanism is a lot more interesting than, you know, the first thing. Obviously, you expect it to be a lot more like Minecraft ish, but it, it is a lot more sophisticated than that, really. See, now I can put the wood in there. I think that that's, see, that's more greenish. It's not as green as that, but it's more greenish. So. I'm doing something right. Now I want to be able to run, like, move a little freely around the house, so... I just need these poles. I can know we'll need poles, but... Yeah, if I could just have, like, the outer poles... I don't know uh, what's gonna hold this. 
this attic strongly. I wonder if I would I just fall through if I walk on it when it's like I know if it's red red it's just not gonna build like it's just gonna fall apart when you try to place it but if it's like almost red like dark orange and you walk over it does it just fall apart so yeah I'm removing the old supports and I'm putting these new supports instead I finally I can have the chopping block. And I can uh, build more advanced things now. Craft more advanced things. I mean, yeah, here we go, the helmet. But now I can also build leather clothes, I notice. But I want to start with the helmet. Yeah, that's cool. This is authentic, you know. We, we didn't go around with horns back in the day. It was more like this. Okay. Here's another one of these Eichthyr knights. It's honestly just fun. Forward to it, I like it. Yeah, I just I really do like it. I don't know. Seems like the Ike theory attacks are more. Let's see if we can get this guy. Yes, a more intense um, in this part of the world. chest on the outside just for like I don't know just to yeah outside I'm keeping materials that uh, I feel are less important right now I'm gonna need a lot of chests Day 26. This has been like nine days already in this one uh, episode. So this is all from uh, one long day of gaming. 
And now I'm trying to figure out how I can further strengthen the, the roof, as you see it's orange, which is a bad sign. And I wonder if I can just make it a little bit stronger. Maybe with these supports? Like, maybe if it's all the way, or like, you know, on every part of the grid, let's say. It's hard to find exactly the spot. There. Colors are getting a little, a little less orange, a little more yellow, slightly. After I build it, this is cool, isn't it? I love this little uh, patio roof I built down here. Oh, he's dripping wet. So that's green, it's greenish. So it, it does seem to help to put this additional, these additional beams. There's a lot of like extra building in this game. Like a lot of. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is fun target practice right here. So there's an arch to the shot. If they're far too far, you have to be higher than, than the aim. There's a little learning to this. I want to increase that too, you know, for my punching strength. But yeah, we're getting too close here, so let's just have a look at the house. And... Look how beautiful this is. So yeah, thanks for joining with us, with me, this time guys. Until next time. Peace.